Hi everyone, this is Harjit here. Uh, guys, a lot of uh, viewers on my channel have requested me to make video on uh, bucketing. How is bucket? How bucketing can be implemented? And uh, you know, uh, there are a lot of questions around bucketing. You know, first thing they wanted was uh, an example about uh, how bucketing is implemented. And uh, next thing they wanted was that how to decide the number of buckets, uh, uh, you know, uh, for a table. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a video on both of this topic. As part of this video, we're going to discuss an example of uh, creating a bucketed table. And uh, we're going to go into details of, uh, 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 you know, how you can create a table, what is the syntax and all that stuff. We're going to go, how will you fill data into that table? So let us not waste time. Let us start with that. Okay, so this is my Google Cloud uh, instance. So, you know, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load some data. And, uh, I'm going to create some hive table, uh, which will be bucketed table. And then, then I'm going to load some data in that hive table. And then we're going to query that and see that table. I have also listed down some of the steps which I'm going to, uh, you know, run as part of this. So let us start. So let us first uh, download the required data. So I, so I will share the link in my description of this video. So let us first download the data. So we have download data. I have earlier also used this data. This is banking data. Uh, now let us unzip the file. I had actually already run and tried these commands. So that's why it is asking me that you want to replace the existing file. Cool. So we have, uh, uh, you know, uh, we have uh, downloaded the data and we have also unzipped the file. Now let us see what are the contents of that file. Okay. So first row of the file is the is the header, and uh, then we have the data which is uh, separated by semicolon. Cool. Now let us remove uh, the header and create a new file. Cool. We have uh, created a new file which doesn't have the header. So we can see that. Awesome. So now we will copy this data into HDFS. First of all, we'll create some data folder for this. Okay, now we have copied the data in HDFS. Awesome. So now let us uh, now let us create our hive table. First, we'll create a normal hive table, which is not bucketed. And then we'll copy data from this table to our bucketed table. So you might have noticed that our delimiter was uh, 
semicolon so this is the you know uh, this is the sky code or city code that we have to give to uh, so that our uh, hive can understand semicolon in the data okay cool so let us open hive shell first we'll create a db create database test db says test db already exists okay then we'll say use test db if in your case it doesn't exist then you can create it now i'm going to create the table awesome our table is created we can do a select star on this table test db dot so we have a table has data now let us create a bucketed table so to create a bucketed table you have to this property you have to enforce you have to make sure that bucketing is enabled in your uh, uh, cluster uh, in your hive so this is the property that you have to set hive dot enforce dot bucketing you have to set it to true then you can create a bucketing table uh, just like uh, the a normal table uh, you have to mention clustered by the bucketing column so here i am using age as a bucketing column and uh, for bucketing i have to use a cluster by keyword and then i have to tell how many buckets i want in this case i'm saying okay i want 10 buckets let us create this bucketing table awesome so now we need to load data into this bucketing table from our uh, existing table It may take few minutes so since uh, it will take the source table take all the data within that source table and then hash the age column and uh, based on that it will insert data into the output table which is our bucketed table so you will notice here that number of producers that are running here are 10 so this is because the number of buckets that we have given are 10 and the number of uh, files that it is going to create are also going to be 10 because for each bucket it creates one file so let us wait until this this thing finishes then we'll query the data and uh, you know then we'll we will uh, you know uh, see the number of files also that are created the so full four bucket buckets uh, are already created i guess fifth one is also created so uh, i hope you are clear about uh, what is the difference between partitioning and bucketing so if you are not clear then i have a video on that please feel free to see that video it's very well it is very much recommended so bucketing is uh, normally used uh, if the number if the cardinality of the column which you are interested in is very high so if you know uh, if, if you partition the table uh, on that column and if it, it will create a lot of small files then it is better to create the uh, bucketed table because it will merge some of the values and uh, it will uh, you know uh, To create a bucket out of that let us see how many bucketed files it has created okay 